Hey, what's up survivors? This mod guide is for my Zen proxy framework mod, which adds the ability to add actions to in-game uh, proxies, which is basically another word for furniture. Um, technically, these proxies don't have to be furniture, but that's typically what you would use this mod for. So if I walk up to a chair, press F, you can see in the bottom left of my screen there, it says kitchen chair A. If I wanted to add some sort of action to that chair, I would just add kitchen underscore chair underscore A into the action that I code. I'll show you how to code actions in a moment. It will require some intermediate daisy modding knowledge to be able to use this mod. It's not really a mod in and of itself, it's just a framework for adding your own actions to your server. So for example, with debug on, I have this lie down action that appears when I look at a bed. This will work for any bed in any house. Press F and my character lies down. Um, I could also add actions for like searching things. I could search this medical cabinet for meds, for example, or this box up here. One example of a use case for this proxy framework is to make repairable sinks. So now I have a wrench in my hand and I'm looking at this furniture proxy, uh, which is case sync underscore A. If I repair this proxy, I can now drink from the sink. So yeah, hopefully you get the idea of this mod. Um, like I said, it's a framework. It doesn't come with any pre-existing actions except for a few example actions. This is what the config file will look like when you first start your server. Give it a few minutes to boot up. What is going to happen is as the server loads in each uh, individual building, it's going to load the proxies into this JSON file. Uh, which will speed up the boot up process next time your server starts up. Once that process completes, this is what your file will look like. So debug on will be off by default. When you're creating your own mods, you'll want to turn that on. You don't need to touch this. This will automatically redump all the proxy locations when your map changes. So at the bottom here, it's saved the map name. If I change my server to run on a different map, this whole file will reset except for these overrides. I'll explain what these overrides do in a second. But as you can see here, we have the class name of each building in the game and uh, the various proxy locations we have for that building that we can interact with. So the house I'm currently in is uh, 2W02. So let's search for 2W02. These are those proxies that I'm interacting with. You can see box C is this box here. However, there are some instances where some proxies will not be interactable. For example, this couch is technically not, not a proxy, or at least it's not loaded into the game as a proxy, so I can't interact with that couch. There are a handful of limitations with this mod like that. There are some objects that you just won't be able to interact with, but sometimes you'll come across a situation like this. If I press F on this chair, you can see down there it says kitchen chair A, but if I press F, on this uh, table here, it says down the bottom there, no house. So this particular desk proxy was not automatically loaded by my mod. Um, I haven't figured out why some of these proxies don't load, but I did add a method for adding your own proxies for this sort of situation. So notice when I press F, my character kind of bugs out. I can't press F on any other object anymore. So what I need to do is hit space um, to reset my actions. And what I can do if I wanted to add this proxy, uh, some sort of action on this proxy is I can press P using uh, V++ admin tools. That has copied the relative position of that proxy object to the house. So notice if I look out the window and press P, that's copied my position. If you look at the coordinates closely, that's my world position. But if I press P while aiming at this desk, it's copied the relative position of that desk relative to this house and so what i can do now is bring up my uh, 
config here and come up to the top and I can paste in that relative proxy. Paste that in there, make sure to get rid of the commas as they won't be passed by the JSON file. I can change this proxy name to say, uh, let's just say computer desk. I'll put an underscore in there and I'll get the name of the house by just pressing P while looking at the house. Uh, copy that into house type. And now if I shut down my server and restart it, now when I log in, when I press F on this uh, desk again, you can see down the bottom there it says computer desk. So I've overridden that proxy with the override house proxy data list. If I needed to do multiple, I would just copy that, put in a comma, paste that in and add in a second proxy. So if you ever encounter a proxy that doesn't work like that, just a quick recap, press P while looking at it with the plus plus admin tools installed. That will copy the relative position of the object. And then you just need to paste that into this list here to make sure to remove the commas from the coordinates. Put in the house type, which you can also get by pressing P when looking at the walls of the house. Put the house type in there and then name the proxy whatever you like. So what this mod allows us to do is things like, for example, there's obviously the uh, search for loot mod uh, by Hunter Z and uh, Zmag, where you can search furniture and stuff inside buildings for loot, uh, food and various items. You can do that with this mod. You would have to code those actions yourself. So let's go over some source code now and I'll show you how to add your own actions to these objects. So I'm going to include a framework uh, template, actions template with this mod. It will be in the extras folder of the mod pack when this mod is published. And this will contain the source code to a template that I use on my personal server for adding several actions. So on my server, you can repair sinks and drink from them or fill bottles from them, wash your hands, etc. You can also search objects for loot. Uh, you can sleep on beds and I believe that's it for now, but I'm working on some other things I might add to this mod at some point, this template. But I'm not going to go into detail about all of these actions because uh, it's a bit f too much information to uh, i'll be here all day explaining what i've done so again this is for intermediate and above in terms of experience in daisy modding if you're new to daisy modding this probably isn't for you you should probably come back to this down the road or find a friend who knows a lot about daisy modding but just briefly to add an action that targets a proxy it's the same method as you would to add any other vanilla action or vanilla based action. The only difference is, let's go to my um, repair sync action. So this is a continuous base action. Everything is basically vanilla, except for these two overrides here. These are important. So these are in action base.c. If I go to uh, my framework, this is my modded action base.c. I've added to the vanilla action base all the code required to target a proxy. All you need to do in your action is to tell the game that this action is targeting a proxy. That will enable all the code relevant for targeting proxies. And you also need to tell the action what type of proxy you were targeting. So these are proxy class names. Uh, as you saw earlier, when I was in game with debug mode turned on, I could press F and it would copy the targeted proxies class name to my clipboard I can then paste that in to a list of uh, targeted proxies so if I go to this search proxy for example here is a list of proxies I can target with my search action so I can target this which I think is the check word for medical cabinet that's what it is in game at least I can target radios to get batteries out of them or cassette tapes if you're running my Zen mod pack with the uh, music mod, then I actually have a list of cassettes that this uh, you can find by searching radios. Fridge, obviously for food, soda machine for uh, soda cans and libraries for books. This is how you can target multiple proxies, uh, separate them with commas. For the repair sync, 
I actually have some inbuilt constants in the framework. So if I go to the framework and we come up to Zen Proxy Constants, this is a list of all objects I've found in game, which are proxies which have a sync attached to them. And these are all the beds. Um, so I've only got sinks and beds at the moment. At some point, maybe I'll expand this. But for now, if you use a wrench on any of these proxies listed here in my template uh, action mod, that will target all of those. So again, override has Zen proxy target to true, and then override get Zen proxy name target and list out the proxies you want to target. We have our action condition. If we're not targeting the proxy that we're looking for based on this, then the action will fail immediately. Otherwise, this code gets executed on the client. Um, and how this works is the way I've made this mod, if I load up my game, when I repair a sync, on finish progress server will execute. Um, basically, I have chosen to spawn a proxy dummy object. So if we go to config CPP, that's this object here. This is just an invisible item base. It's just a item that spawns in game that can't be seen by the player or interacted with by the player, but my action can search for it. So here we, we're using my action base get proxy object. If this object, this entity exists at the proxy we're targeting, then the action condition will return false because that means this sync is already repaired. So I'll show you what I mean. If I come in game, and I turn on ESP tools and I get out my wrench. And I repair the sink, which takes a long time with my base template. Now you can see I have ESP tools turned on. Um, keep an eye on the sink when this action completes. You can see that an invisible object has been spawned on the sink. And now I don't have the action to repair the sink anymore, but I do have the action to drink from it. This Zen proxy sink item is actually invisible. You can't see it, but it's spawned on the sink. And what this allows me to do is add persistence to repaired sinks. So basically on my server, I've got a types entry, types XML entry for the Zen proxy sink and it's set to about three days. So if someone comes into a house and repairs the sink, that sink will remain functional for about three real life days. Um, if I delete that, if I come up to ESP tools and delete in radius, and I look for Zen proxy sync, if I delete that object, you can see it's gone now, and now I can't drink from the sink anymore, and I need to repair it again. So that's how I sort of go about uh, adding persistence to these things. If I didn't do that, I could easily just make this sync repaired directly on the proxy, but then when the server restarts, the sync will be broken again, and it just, just kind of hurts immersion in my opinion. I like to have more control over the persistence of actions in game, and so that's how I've gone about it. Same with searching fridges. Uh, let me just delete these friggin' wolves because they're gonna annoy me. So now if I search this fridge, you can see down the bottom left there it says there's nothing in there. So there's a 50% chance when searching an, an object that there will be nothing in there. Uh, so I just got unlucky there. And now the next person who comes along and searches this fridge will get that same message. There's nothing in there. Even if I'd found an item just then, because you can see Zen proxy search dummy is spawned in, uh, which has several hours persistence, the next player who comes along and tries to search this fridge will also find nothing in there because I've already searched it. There's nothing in there. And yeah, you can see I've turned off debug mode, so you can't press F on any of these objects anymore. Um, or oh, here's a, another thing I can search. So if I turn off ESP tools, this is a medical cabinet that I can search. Again, nothing interesting in there. So I got unlucky again. 
can come in here, I can lie down on the bed. If I go to town, let's go to Colin Brody. Here's another fridge. Nothing interesting in there. Here's another fridge. Let's have a quick search. There you go. You see, I found some canned tuna in this fridge. But the last two I searched were empty. And now if I search the fridge again, there's nothing in there because I already found something. If you have no modding experience whatsoever, if you just install these two mods on your server, the framework and the actions template mod, that will at least unlock repairing sinks, uh, sleeping on beds and searching um, various objects for loot. If you wanna change the loot that you can find, come into Zen Prophecy Config um, and here is the list of items that can be found. So yeah, with that said, I'll wrap this up here. Thanks for watching guys. If you want the source code, it's on my GitHub, Zenicus.io. And if you like my mods and want to support me, check out my buy me a coffee link, which is on my GitHub and on the workshop page. Thanks a lot, guys. Love you. Take care. Good luck out there. Be kind to each other. Don't shoot on sight unless you have a really good reason to like you're hungry.